everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. I hope you are having a wonderful Sunday. Uh, Sunday, the day of rest, the day of Sabbath, the day to work on shadow work and healing. Um, so I thought I would come on today and I have some questions that were uh, various questions in different videos that I had. So I'm going to answer those questions today. I was going to go live, but then I didn't even put anything up and it was so last minute I said I'll just make a tape of it before I get started I just want to mention a, a real nice fellow friend of mine former student of mine by the name of Lie Martin and Lie Martin is actually fantastic do you know he used to dance in the Follies Brugere in Las Vegas yes as well as uh, in uh, Missouri uh, Branson, Missouri. That's where he dances now. That's where he lives now. Uh, also danced on Broadway and off Broadway. Anyways, you know, he's a man of a certain age at this point. And so he is, besides still working in the shows in Branson when they're having them, he's also doing Mary Kay. And uh, if you're a uh, person, a woman of my age, you know about Mary Kay and the Mary Kay shows. And now they've got a website. So if you are interested in Mary Kay, and I don't know who isn't, you remember the pink Cadillacs and all of that and maybe you even know someone who actually got a pink Cadillac anyways like Martin uh, his Mary Kay uh, franchise can be found at Mary Kay.com uh, slash lie Martin co and lie Martin is L Y M A R T I N C O we'll put it in this this video so you can see it so if you're ever interested in Mary Kay or being a distributor if you have nothing else that you want to do and you want to do something different and fascinating or having your own business because that is the way to go um then uh get in touch with live martin for that or just go to the site marykay.com slash live martin co and that's l-y-m-a-r-t-i-n-c-o and get information on mary Kay and Ly martin that is for you uh so the first question i have here is how is clarence thomas going to deal with his new with this new black female judge i think that is a fascinating question my real sense and feeling of clarence thomas is that it probably won't affect him. I don't see him doing any necessarily deep work friendships or anything like that. Uh, it'll be business as usual. Um, with the wife that he has, who was who interjected herself into the January 6th insurrection, who was in touch with people and congratulating people for that. Um, that always tells me birds of a feather flock together. He can't, that judge, Clarence Thomas, can't be a fair and impartial judge as it comes to anything because that's his wife. You see, Clarence Thomas has always had a, a history of disliking black women. Um, this individual uh has always had trouble with black women uh probably from his mother and all the way down with the lack of being accepted you know being a nerd back in the day and all of those things and being shy and insecure and till he got a little power and tried to flex it on some women on the job but he's always had um hate of black women this is alleged this is just my intuition telling me that he's always had a dislike for black women and then for Anita, Anita uh, Hill to bring him bring charges up on him regarding this when he was getting seated as a justice uh, has really only intensified that aspect of it so let me just see what the cards say Anita and Justice Jackson Okay, so he certainly thinks this is the wheel of fortune. Things are changing. He knows things are changing. I think things are changing in the sense that maybe he's thinking about changing because he is no thorough good marshal by a long stretch of imagination. But he sees that the scope of things are, are changing. In one way, I guess he thinks that's good. Another way, not so much. Um, and as far as how he's going to deal with her, he will not. Um, he's got the hangman. 
He's going to wait and feel the situation out rather than jumping in and let's be friends and let me help you because she's not a law clerk. She'll be an actual justice. And so she'll have people around her to support her in different ways. But he's going to be hesitant to move forward on her. Yeah. Nine of Wands. So this is what I got. That's what I got. I got the Wheel of Fortune. Like he sees things are changing. Okay. However, he's not really wanting to make a uh, move forward he's going to lay back and wait and see how things go he's deciding if i should make this kind of a sacrifice this sort of a perspective change that a black woman can be a justice okay and that she can get the job done effectively however he's got whoop, let me turn this way nine of wands he's going to stay on guard because that's what he would naturally do. He's going to stay on guard. He's going to be ready to defend himself, ready to fight any battles, ready to go up against her in any kind of way. He's already prepped and primed for battles and battles that may or may not exist. And so I don't think it's going to necessarily be contentious. I think that um, her character, because she comes up as Queen of Pentacles, I just turned that over. Queen of Pentacles is about her business. And actually, Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign and she is a Virgo. And so she's going to be uh, concerned about getting uh, in, pro in the process, understanding the parts of the jobs, bringing the excellence that she brings to the table, as well as... Um, just doing the best that she can. She's going to shine. She's going to outshine him by a long way. And she'll have the personality, which is Queen of Pentacles. that will be very down to earth. She'll be very warm to deal with. She'll be the person some of them will be wanting to come and talk to. So, yeah, that's how that will go. Now, the thing that bothers me, and I've been seeing it, uh, not necessarily in my comments, but it doesn't necessarily mean people don't think that is, okay, just because she's a woman of color, that's the only reason why he picked her. This this woman happens to be a woman of color. That is not the point of her getting that job, that that is the only reason. She is highly educated, more so than, than me and most of the average people out here. She's had a long tenure in working in federal uh, courts and working in on uh, councils in with courts and, and sentencing and she knows the game very well so if you are one of these small part minded people and that's not just you guys not my family you guys my family but people who stop by and listen to this video you're wrong you're wrong she just happens to be black here just, uh, or be black it's the same thing like i was going to say here is uh you are smart you are brilliant you are charming you're beautiful and you just happen to have blonde hair that's just it just happened so um let's see do i think the monarchy will end with the royal family like we know charles will take over but do you see it will it last with william that is an institution. The monarchy is an institution. Think hierophant. Think an institution that is set in cement. Um, the institution of the monarchy has changed, but that changed a long time ago where they don't make uh, significant decisions for the country. They're more like a social group at this point. Uh, the queen is a figurehead. The monarchies are figureheads and they're there for pomp and circumstances, but not making any major decisions. That's why parliament was put in place a long, long time ago. So they don't really have a need to end per se. Um, if different countries like them, what difference does it make? They're not making, they're not doing anything significant. They're just parading around their titles. And the, at the end of the day, their titles don't mean a whole lot. Will the monarchy end? Will it get to continue doing what they do this almost reminds me like a, it's asian -y, but still with the crown and everything um <clears throat> no they don't have any reason to go they'll still do what they're supposed to do they'll still come to the events they're supposed to come they'll still uh make appearances 
uh, and they will continue to hold on to that position. This is legacy. This is real money, real family legacy. This has been going on a long time and it's going to continue to go on. And guess what? The people love it. The people love it. They're not trying to get rid of it. You know, this is as rooted as uh, having our, our types of government or our presidents or our figureheads is something deeply rooted in the culture. Now, some people may like them, some people may not, um, but they're not really adding anything per se um, to the United Kingdom other than pop and circumstances. So do I see them going away um, with Charles or going away before or after William? They'll continue to go on as long as they go on. That's just how it's going to be. And that is why um, that is why William stays close to his dad because he wants to make sure that he gets that position once dad is of a certain age. No, they'll continue to go on. They'll still be in a position where we are the havers and you all are the have nots. And you don't want to ask too many questions. You don't really want to know what they think because they are um, they're racist. They're outdated in their beliefs and their circumstances. Um, they're still married people that are in their family lineage. And so many people don't like that, but they're going to continue on. They're going to continue doing what they do. Maybe the monarchy will change a little bit as we get William and, and Kate in there, but not significantly. They'll be loyal to the family and they've raised them like that to be loyal to the family. And that's why people were so up in arms when Harry and Meghan got married. Um, yeah, by the way, congratulations to them. They just won an NAACP Image Award last night, a uh, presidential award at that. Let me see what else we got here. Okay, someone says, is there anything I'd like to say to Nick Cannon about parenting as he did with Kanye, as I did with Kanye and Kim? Uh, for Nick Cannon, uh, Nick Cannon's situation is partly health. So he's got a health condition. Uh, I do believe it's lupus. Let me hold on just to verify. So I'm not excusing Nick Cannon. I, mm -mm, you know, people of a certain age, I, I'm not with that because what you're doing is you're creating all these children with different, different women and you are uh, creating and perpetuating single mothers in the household because you can't be with all these people at the same time unless you've got a whole harem and there's some agreement, all the women get along because that won't happen. Um, he's got a lupus disease that is it's kidney related and I, my intuition tells me that he is looking for a donor within his family of his children in case he does need to have a kidney that does not make it appropriate that makes it his choice i don't think it is the best choice for nick cannon uh nick cannon is a very charming individual um talented to a point uh, if you like wild and out or, or that kind of comedy thing very hyped person, but he's exerting a lot of energy. Um, I think there is a better way. There's a list that you can get on in case something happened. Um, we don't want to keep having these single mothers out here. We definitely don't want them fighting with each other. We don't want to have my stepbrother and stepsister and step, 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 all these steps and halves and all of that. When do we have unity? Uh, when do we make regular family? So that's my feeling on Nick Cannon. Does 45's protection extend to his family? Absolutely, it extends to his family. Um, that's what his lawyers and uh, and then of course, you know, they have the secret service that stays with them on that tip, but absolutely, uh-huh. Um, for what it's worth, he loves his children. He loves them, some of them like tools. You know, I can use you for this and you can go and do that and you can do this and you can show this appearance and that. As they service him, he loves them. Once they become uh, to the point where you can't, you, I have no use for you, then that diminishes. So it's not a real from the heart type of situation, selfless and, and all of that. But at the end of the day, I think that he would definitely 
go to bat for them, but he expects that in exchange. Whereas if you really love your children, your thing is, I love you unconditionally, then you go and live your life. I'm here to support you in whatever way, but I'm not looking at it as a uh, give and take. What, what you give to me, uh, I'll give back to you, maybe. So let me just take a quick look. Guys, what do you to tell me about Trump and his children? Mm, yeah, things need to change. It's the tower. And I'm just pulling the one card on him because otherwise this video is going to be forever. But uh, with as far as him and his relationship with his children, things need to change. Okay, He's protective of some and he's not of others. Um, like I said before, I haven't dealt the cards. His feeling is, I'll, you're, you're mine as long as I can use you. If you ever speak against me, criticize me or anything else, you're cut off. Most of them have no viable skills. And so they're they're hoping, like a lot of people, that um, they're going to benefit for him in some kind of way financially. But he's not really generous like that. But they're waiting on that that will situation. I feel like, and um, he needs to change. The tower card says he needs to change for those situations. A lot of times when parents don't, and then they get really older and very sick, children drop out. <laughs> they're not there for you anymore. So that part um how did mitch win with the 21 percent approval rate um very easily actually as a matter of fact mitch won with the 21 percent approval rating even though it's a low rating because he's in he's coming from an environment where they don't want change okay they don't want anything to change uh in terms of our country in terms of their leadership they feel mitch is fine mitch is very well beloved for a lot of kentuckians and the people that love him or respect him or known him because he's 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 in social circles and, and things like that as well those are the ones that are going to go out and vote for him okay those are the ones that vote uh a lot of people only vote for presidential elections a lot of young people don't vote at all um, a lot of people of color don't vote at all. And so if we got out there and voted against him, he would be gone. That approval rating means nothing. It means absolutely nothing because that, those um, are stats that can change all the time. But he's got a strong backing. He's got, he's in the, well, many people are in his pockets or vice versa. And so he does what he does to keep himself where he wants to be. He's in love with power because, you know, it's oftentimes the people that don't have that, didn't have that in, in life growing up or what have you, that popularity or whatever, that power position, they're hungry for it at this point in their life. And he's not easily going to give it up. Um, if he can run again, he'll run again. And then he'll run again after that as long as he can. Um, like, like, what is the name? Storm Thurman. I think that's was that stayed in forever. That's he's that guy. He doesn't see any reason to go. And he feels like if I leave, things will change too much. So, you know, I'm going to hold my position. It'll be, everything will be over my dead body. Um, yeah. Yeah, many people are very conflicted about him. He's got the Eight of Swords. So many people are conflicted about him. Many people are like this way. And this way, she looks fine. She's looking in the mirror. But inside, she's like this. And I think that's him too. Conflicted on what he wants to do. But many people are conflicted about him. But here we are. They don't act. This is not a card of actions. This is a thought, uh, a card of thoughts. They're conflicted, especially as younger generations. They're conflicted with him. Even some of those that are older, but yet they don't want to take a chance of going for something else or going Democrat or something like that. Um, yeah, his light is dimming. He's got the star in reverse. Uh, a lot of people have lost faith and hope in him. Okay, They really have. Uh, they don't feel that he's as capable as he once was. Um, and number one reason he wants to see Trump prosecuted to the full extent of the law. 
and yet here he is sitting upright king of cups he still can relate to people he still is going to listen to people he's still going to be drinking that good old kentucky bourbon and hobnobbing mm -hmm. he knows people okay and that's the thing of it he understands people and how they move with him yeah right now he's he's battling he's going to continue to battle He's going to continue to battle because he wants that seat, that emperor's seat. He wants to be the um, the leader in the house. And he will go to the grave kicking and screaming for that. Did Do you see if Elizabeth has something to do with Diana's fate? No, not directly. No, not directly. Uh, but indirectly. In the sense that... Uh, she did not have any respect for her. She was very cold to this young lady unnecessarily. She found Diana to be rather needy. I'm just going to go tell you what my spirit is telling me in my head. She found her to be very needy and wanting. In her mind, she felt that uh, she should be strong because she's because Elizabeth has a very masculine. Diana was very feminine. And so she felt that Diana should have sucked it up and been stronger and kept a, kept a stiff upper lip instead of going to the media and crying to media or going to places that she feels that the queen or soon be queen should never be going to in different parts of the world. Let the other people that live down there take care of that. That is not what we do. She felt that Diana was completely out of order, almost rogue in a sense, where we find it humanitarian-esque. She felt it rogue that she wouldn't follow directions, that she was always troubled. She made very big accusations that Diana was never really faithful to her son, but she never spoke on her son uh, not being faithful to her. She felt that um, initially she was going to be fine because she was young and that Charles could mold her, they could work with her. When they found that that was just on the outside, that she was much stronger, uh, then she really had no use for her. So in that sense, yeah, you kind of throw somebody away and then they're just sort of out there. Uh, wife is involved in the slowing down of shipping products from China. She did it to make Biden look bad. So that's my last one. Uh, and if you're still here, thank you. Uh, someone says that they got a message that there was a message that Mitch McConnell's wife is involved in the slowdown of shipping of products from China. Uh, she did it to make Biden look bad. So let's take a quick look at that. And then I'm going to let y'all go about your day, make your Sunday dinners, do whatever you're doing. Did Biden... It's Mitch McConnell's wife. I think I said Biden's wife, but I didn't mean that. Mitch McConnell's wife involved in the slowdown of um, shipping. Is she involved in some type of way, Spirit? Is she involved in some kind of way? Well, she's definitely spoken to someone involving it. That's for sure. I got the Princess of Cups. That's like the Prince of Cups, a message, um, offering of something. We have the Prince of Wands and we have the Six of Pentacles. And so it looks as though... Interesting. It looks as though that she had a message for them or someone involved in that and people started going to the rescue in terms of of the blockade. Um, there was money that passed hands to slow things down for sure. To slow down the racing and the moving forward. This is the moving forward. This would be like the, the cargoes moving forward and taking care of their job. They're ready to spring into action. And then she pays she has a financial investment this is all alleged like finances involved like a i'll give this to you you do this for me and then things don't move fast anymore all of a sudden they go to the two of wands two of wands there's no movement here this is plannings and decisions but no actions so things went from let me see if i can get this in order here things went from moving quickly right as they normally would let's get the cargo out let's get everything to the kingdom yeehaw let's go to 
I have a conversation with some people. These people are in need of my help. I'm like an empress. I'm able to talk to them, offer them suggestions, suggest slowing down, and then things do, all right? Then they slow down. However, we got the world card. That is going to come to an end. That's not going to last very long because ultimately it's going to affect everybody. So they're going, that will come to a peaceful end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they're going to move forward. It, they will move forward. Uh, Prince of, this is the Prince of Pentacles, like the Knight of Pentacles. And this is things going back to where they were in terms of being, being pro, bringing products in. It'll just be slower. Yeah, here she is again. The first, the first card was the message. This is the message that she sent. And now this is her talking to them saying, okay, uh, slow this down. That's what I said. Slow it down. We're going to stall it. We're going to stop it because here we are slow and stop. And then she comes back around and says, okay, that's done. And now here I am. And I want you to slow down. I want you to bring things in, but I want you to slow them down. Mm -hmm. But they will start again, Ace of Wands. They will get back. All those those little protests will end. It's actually quite ridiculous uh, to me that we're slowing down because you don't want mask mandates or you don't want um, vaccines. But those mask mandates are changing anyways, where now you can go into places, I think by the end of March, that you don't have to have masks on anymore. You can come in there, unmask as long as you're vaccinated. I'm talking about in smaller spaces, so I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's as many questions I can get to you today without boring you to death or uh, this video being ours. But anyways, um, don't forget to check out MaryKay.com, Lime Martin, C-O. Um, and like I said, that'll be in the video so you can see that. But don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, keep us in the algorithm. Uh, send me comments. I love that. Thumbs up is super important. Thank you guys. Have a great day.